again guys, it's Carly from The Poetry of Nice and today I have a vacation thrift store haul for you. So we recently went to the beach and while we were there I decided to hit up a few different thrift stores and one of them I will also be sharing in a different haul, like um, just a different store basically because it was kind of interesting, it was an eBay savvy thrift store and so I wanted to show you guys what I managed to find even though they've been cherry picking what, you know, they believe to be a lot of the good stuff out there. So stay tuned for that, it may have already been posted, it may not have already been posted. If it is, I'll link it here. If not, hit that uh, subscribe button and bell notification down below and that way you can see when it does go live and check out what kind of treasure I found there. So in this particular store, um, I had never been there before. It was an independent store, not a chain like Goodwill or anything like that. Um, and I think I did pretty well. I was pretty excited. One of the first things I found was Lululemon. Unfortunately, the condition just wasn't there for that piece so I had to leave it behind, but it did give me the incentive to keep going and keep flipping through those racks. I had less than an hour when I was there, but I did as much damage as I possibly could and got as much stuff to bring home and to list to sell. Um, if you're new here, by the way, I sell on Etsy, eBay, and Poshmark. I do that with being a stay-at-home parent, and this channel is all about reselling online, basically. Um, and I like to share my whole videos, like this one, my sales videos, so you can see exactly how much that stuff sold for. And also, I like to share tips and tricks and tutorials and things like that just to help newer resellers along their journey. Okay, so without further ado, let's just get stuck in. I spent around around $75 or so there. Everything worked out to basically $2.50 a piece on average. So just bear that in mind when I show you these items. Okay, so the first thing that I found with this pair of black patent leather loafers. There we go. And the brand is Stuart Weitzman. I really, really like this jam. They need a little wipe inside, I'll be honest, but I really, really like this brand. Um, it's done quite well for me in the past. This is sort of an older style, but also it's, I feel like it's kind of on trend for like a career piece. It's got that almost like 90s type vibe to it, in my opinion. Anyway, um, they're good condition, fantastic condition actually, and a great brand and $2.50, I'm scooping them up. Next pair of shoes, I only have three pairs of shoes, so I'm just gonna do them first, is a pair of, uh, brown and black leather, like a woven top tassel loafer, and the brand is Cole Haan. This is Cole Haan Country, which I'm not super familiar with, but um, it's the same thing, I think, as far as I can tell from doing my research, Cole Haan, Cole Haan. And these are a size seven, leather soles with some man-made grips, just a really, really good pair of shoes. I just sold a pair of Cole Haan um, woven top leather loafers for, I think it was 35, either 35 or 40 on Poshmark. So I'm gonna be listing these around that 45 to $50 mark. And the last pair of shoes is a brand that was new to me, but I picked them up mostly based on style and some indicators that they were potentially a nicer brand of shoe. Um, the brand is 67. And from my research, this is actually sometimes sold at Anthropology or Free People. No not sure if this particular style was, I just I couldn't necessarily tell you. They are size 36, European size, um, and they are a black suede with a, this is actually plastic but it looks metal, perforated toe cap detail. There we go, you can see it there. Lace up like flat shoe, super, super cute. I really like the style. Um, so here's the indicators that they may have been a nicer brand. The fact that they are a suede leather and the fact that they are, I think this is a leather sole from what it feels like. And then also they are made in Spain and they have European sizing. All those things together, particularly the style, but all those things together made me sort of take a second look and I decided to just kind of go for it and see how they were doing. And actually the comps don't look too bad at all and I think I've listed them for around 40. Okay, and on to the clothes. So all of the clothing there had flat pricing in terms of dresses were $5, I think. Tops were maybe like three, jeans were three, that kind of thing. The shoes were individually priced, but that's how they price things there anyway. Um, so, like I said, everything averaged out to $2.50, but I just figured I'd let you know that because I'm always interested to hear how other people's thrift stores do it. It's just, it's just something I like to hear. All right, where are we? Here we go. So this is Soma. It's a size small, although it does seem to be quite oversized. I don't pick up too much Soma. However, I do sometimes like their maxi dresses. They do okay for me. And I like the style of this one. So it is a gray, almost like a jersey, like t-shirt material. And like I said, it is a maxi dress. It has split sides, which is always a nice detail, especially in summer. And then it has a really cool, almost like cropped front tie detail right there, like a little cropped t-shirt sort of overlay if you like. Some of them have bag crinkles and I'm sorry it's just because they've been listed already. Um, so this piece, I really like the colour, it's mostly where I grabbed it, so it is Lucky Brand, it is a size medium um, and it's a really pretty lace overlay three-quarter length sleeve top basically. All of this is laid, it has like a little bit of a tearing 
effect tiered effect there at the chest just a really nice teal blue color and then i really like that lace overlay detail unfortunately it does have one teeny tiny little bleach mark on the back that i missed however i've just disclosed that and it's still having interest i think it will still sell for around 14 to 16 dollars okay next item is a gray dolman or bat, bat wing style sleeve one or the other um t-shirt basically like a very sort of simple basic and it is by vince which is a high-end brand it's a size small i think maybe sold at like nordstrom or something like that um but i find that it's pretty popular so and i really like the pieces they're such nice quality basics it is so soft so i went ahead and grabbed that one as well and then one more vince basic as well this one is a size medium just a nice like navy blue almost like a burnout t-shirt just nice and simple so again probably list around 20 to 25 on that next is a blue and green striped um sort of light knit sweater type thing it's all cotton but it feels kind of knit and it is a j crew p size medium very nice basic kind of fall coming our way next is a nike uh, tennis skirt oh goodness there we go size large i grabbed this because there were so many pleats and i just could not so uh where we were vacationing there's a lot of like golfing and things like that as as usual sort of as you get towards the coast and whatnot and because of that there was so much golfing and athletic wear i didn't know what to do with myself and this is one of the only pieces i picked up because a lot of it has like branding stitched onto it for like different golf clubs and things this piece did not obviously and it does have the little shorts underneath so technically it is a scot tennis scot but i thought that it was quite nice and that's listed for around 20 25 to 30 i think i have good luck uh, good luck with the nike tennis skirts for some reason or i have in the past so fingers crossed this one does the same next is just another like simple j crew basic um again that black tag that i like to look for when it comes to j crew just a really nice cream t-shirt and then it has a metallic like speckled kind of splatter look to it a little bit of glitter very nice very simple next piece is hot cotton this is a size large. I actually just sold this exact t-shirt uh, not too long ago for $17, $20, something like that. It's blue with like a sort of dotted stripe effect. So I just went ahead and did sell similar on eBay and I obviously changed all the sizing, put in my own photographs for this piece, um, all that good stuff, and then copied it over to Poshmark to relist there as well. Very, very quick and simple. That's pretty much one of the reasons I grabbed it is because I knew it would take me two seconds to list this sucker. So that's that was easy. Next is Lucky Brand again, size medium. I just really like the graphic on this. It looks like a sort of US road sign. It says America's Choice, got roses, kind of like rock and roll harley davidson style vibe to it although i wouldn't put that in there because that would be keyword spamming because it's not a harley piece but you know what i'm saying okay next is a dress like an evening dress it's not a brand i've heard of the comps were everywhere so i decided to grab it just to test it out it's alexia admore I could be saying that wrong extra small which uh, oh well but it's a one shoulder with all this beautiful ruching and it's it's floral but it has like obviously you can see a lot of metallic detailing to it really really nice evening sort of formal prom dress that kind of thing um like i said the comps were everywhere anywhere from like 20 dollars up to like 80 or 90 dollars it just i don't know i don't know what the difference is necessarily so i kind of went mid-range with it and i'm just gonna see what happens it can be really fun to learn about new brands by you know trying them out ourselves so i will report back next is another hot cotton piece size large again i do like to sell this brand i find it does pretty good for me just a very sort of out there floral but again it can be considered a full floral top so it's fairly appropriate for the time of year and i was happy to grab it next is Puella, Puella, not sure how you're supposed to say that, medium in the USA. So what made me stop and look at this is the fact that it has tacked on tag there. So as you can see, it's not machine stitched all the way around. It is loose with just simple tacks on the side there of the tag, which usually means that someone has done that by hand. Made in the USA feels so nice. There was enough there to sort of have me stop and take a closer look so it looks like this brand is sold at anthropology sometimes it does not have the anthropology rn number in this so i'm not going to say that but it is a knit sort of is it navy blue God, i can't tell in this lighting it may be navy blue <laughs> ribbed uh, turtleneck sweater it's kind of like a tunic length loose fit really really nice i can't tell you how soft it is um 
yeah so we'll test it out and see i have not sold that brand before so this will be fun to find out all right i grabbed this piece pretty much based on style it's bb dakota which is not a brand that does badly for me by any means size large um it's just not something that i always you know go out of my way to find however i really really like this so it has a keyhole back it like buttons at the top of the neck then it has a high kind of i don't know like victorian or prairie style like neckline up high here kind of modest and then it has these beautiful lace bell sleeves and a built-in sort of um not a bodice but like a, an underlay if you will and then it's kind of cropped it sort of stops like just below well just below the navel on me but i'm quite tall it's i'm still going to call it cropped <laughs> I'll put the measurements in the listing, but I think it's supposed to be slightly cropped. You can kind of see here while I'm holding it. Um, absolutely stunning piece. I kind of wanted to keep it, not gonna lie, um, but I'm gonna try and sell. I did that naughty thing where you list it high and you think if someone buys it at this price, I'm willing to let it go. And then if they don't buy it, I'll steal it for a date night, but we'll see how that does. <laughs> These shorts, again, based on style, so they are for Cynthia. This is not a brand that I pick up that often, but I like these. They are a linen blend, which goes in their favor. They have a lemon tree print, which I absolutely love. Um, and they have like a beaded kind of tassel tie at the front. So just some really cute little details there. Shorts were not expensive there at all. I decided to grab them. Next is Worth New York, which is a pretty high-end brand, as far as I can tell, made in the USA, size four. This is an interesting piece. It's very much like a royal blue ribbed kind of blouse, but then the sides, both sides, are full zip. <laughs> I, I don't know, I don't know, but I think it's kind of cool and I like the brand a lot. I've had good luck with it in the past, so we'll find out. <laughs> Next is something that was on their dollar rack. Um, I only grabbed it because it was a dollar and it was new with tags. It's Emma James for Liz Claiborne. That's not usually something that I would grab. However, like I said, brand new with tags. It's a size 16, which is one of the reasons, and it's a linen blend as well, which is why I grabbed it. So it's just a green, like complete maxi skirt line, very much like career or like, you know, church, summer evening, barbecue, that kind of thing. Um, this will be cross-posted. I will cross-post this to Poshmark, even though that's not really the demographic. However, I would suspect that it will sell on eBay first. I will let you know. All right, next is a pink long-sleeve button-up shirt. It is a size medium, and it's Tommy Bahama, and it is 100% silk. So, we'll see how that does. I think it's a women's. I think it's a women's i will have to do the measurements and find out my right, next is velvet by graham and spencer this is a brand that moves slowly for me it's i think sometimes sold at anthropology p which i'm thinking is size small i don't think just a p by itself is petite i think it's small correct me if i'm wrong in the comments please because i would love to know um, but velvet by graham and spencer does sell for me quite well like for a decent amount probably like 20 to 30 but like i said it does take its time and um, i thought this piece was really nice though it's kind of like a sheer um just like kind of pop over top and then it has a kind of cool ethnic style print to it so next is a cardigan by madewell extra small just a simple black cardigan unfortunately the fabric content and therefore the style number has been cut out here so i'll have to kind of gauge it a little bit but it's kind of cool how it has a longer back and then like a split side to it if you can see that i think it's a very cute little basic so i do love me some made well next is ralph lauren this is just like the blue label um size six 100 cotton grabbed it because it was like you know ralph lauren rather than lauren ralph lauren or Paula ralph lauren or whatever but also because of the style i thought it was really cool it's like a sort of army military style type like utility is probably a word i'll use it's skirt it's like a midi style length below the knee and it has really wide pleats and then kind of like you utility style like buckles and stuff around the waist I just thought it was a really cool piece and again fall is coming and that is totally fall <laughs> okay next is just a basic little kind of i guess like a career top black with a white underlay you can kind of see it coming through there because it's almost like a burnout look kind of has also like a bit of a scooped kind of cowl not a cowl neck because it doesn't have the big but you know what i'm saying like a, what do you call it not waterfall i don't know i don't know what word i'm going to use for that it'll come to me i'm sure but you can see it there i'm sure uh, it's Ellie or Ely Tahari, one of those. Again, quite high end, very expensive to buy retail. This is a size medium, just what I would consider a basic. Next is a pair of hot cotton. Again, these are white wide leg linen pants. They are size extra large. These were on the dollar rack. These do pretty well for me around that 20 to $25 mark. And lastly from this haul is a, if I can find the neckline, bear with me. 
White House Black Market, size medium, this is the older tag, um, sort of, what do we call this? Well, it's a cardigan, first of all. Black and white knitted cardigan with kind of like a waterfall ruffle front detail and then like a sort of flared cuff. Not a bell sleeve, but a flared cuff, I would say. Super cute. It's definitely going to run like a little longer. Not as long as a duster, but a longer cardigan. Cute for winter. All right, we made it to the end of the haul. Thank you so much for watching my vacation haul. I will definitely do this more in terms of whenever I go away on vacation, I'm gonna sneak into thrift stores and see what I can find because quite frankly, it's fun and refreshing to go sourcing somewhere else. And depending on where you are, like where we were around those kind of communities and stuff like that, I was finding some stuff like some brands that I don't usually find up where I am. And that can be really nice. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please do think about hitting that subscribe subscribe button down below. Don't forget to say hello in the comments so that I can say hi back and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys!